Alright guys, we've got more news about the auction of Andrew Tate's items. Supercar sell-off. Andrew Tate's beloved £5 million Bugatti could be sold after jailed influencer used car to taunt Greta Thunberg. That's crazy. The Romanian authorities keep seizing all his assets and even when their connection to the investigation is dubious at best, all these allegations happened in Romania, so I'm not sure what his Bugatti in Dubai has got to do with any of this or why it needs to be seized. And that's the same thing that's been going on with his other cars, watches and so on. They need to get as many of his luxury items as possible and now they're thinking of selling them. Romanian authorities have seized several of Tate's 33 vehicles when they raided his house last month, but prosecutors hope to make a sale on the £5 million supercar if he is convicted. If it is sold, it is sure to bruise the ego of the disgraced kickboxer. Well, if they're looking so badly to make a sale on a £5 million supercar, then it's no wonder why they keep looking for evidence so desperately and refuse to drop the case already. Money powers the world, and when prosecutors could potentially make millions, you have to be a bit critical of their true intentions, especially in a country that's already known for its corruption. Andrew worked really hard to get everything he got and dedicated his entire last year to spread a positive message about working hard, dreaming high, being ambitious and entrepreneurial, and just improving your overall life. And not only did he get cancelled for these ideas, but now the system is preying on him to profit off what he gained from it all. It's truly worrying. Last year, he explained in a video how hard he had to work to even get his Bugatti. So the question which I'm sure a lot of people are asking is, how the hell do you even go about getting a Bugatti in the first place? I said to him, look, I'm interested in buying, possibly buying a car. And they were like, yeah, 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 whatever, goodbye. Because they have probably so many people walk in and out lying about how they want to buy a Bugatti. And it was a sales pitch. I had to try very, very hard to get this car. I had to actually pitch and say, look, why instead of selling it to some sheikh who's going to just put it in a room and hide it forever, why don't you give it to me so I can drive it around and be an idiot in it? And at least it's going to be on the streets. Yeah. At least, you know, it's going to be good for the brand. All of this just for it to be taken away by those in power and sold to make someone else rich. Honestly, if you believe that there is corruption in this world, surely you must agree that this case is just an open example of it. As always, tell us your thoughts in the comments down below and please leave a like and subscribe with notifications turned on.